guys, what's up? It's Bonk from ProGaming.com, and we are here at CES 2012, and we're checking out the Sennheiser HD 700s. With me, I have Eric, who's going to explain a little bit about the HD 700s. So take it away, man. Yes, thanks for coming by. I appreciate that. Uh, big fans of your site. So wanted to show you about a little bit about the HD 700. This is an audiophile-grade headphone, and the great thing about this headphone is its spatial imaging. Uh, a couple cool uh, and clever design innovations. Everything about this headphone, the way it's designed, the way it looks, is actually quite functional. The transducers, meaning what creates the sound, is actually angled. So the sound comes at you from a very specific direction. It mimics sitting in front of loudspeakers. So you get very wide spatial imaging. You can hear what's going on very clearly at all the different uh, stereo points. So also great for gaming, for picking up footsteps, gunfire, and other ambient sounds. Uh, out here we have a very uh, unique design. It's a patent pending uh, ventilated magnet system. What it does is it manages airflow away from the back of the transducer and reduces turbulence within the ear cavity. The result is a very pure, unadulterated sound. Lastly, we have a vibration damping headphone frame here, also known as the headband. This is a silicone layer sandwiched with composite and microfiber. That combination reduces vibrations coming from one ear cup into the other. The end result, again, you hear the transducer at work and only the transducer. That's great. So what is the retail price on the HD 700? HD 700 is $999 or $1 short of 1000 <laughs> and not the other $999. And it'll be available in March. Fantastic. Now, what are the major differences between the HD 700s and the HD 800s? As you'll notice, they have a, a somewhat similar design. Uh, they borrow a little bit from each other. The 800 has a different transducer inside. It has a 56 millimeter, which is a very large, transducer with a ring cut out in the middle. And that's to add rigidity to the, to the transducer itself. The 700 has a 40 milli millimeter transducer, but it does have that vented magnet system. They both have a vibration damping headphone frame. So uh, in terms of sound quality, they, they do have some very similar DNA. Uh, the HG800, of course, is the flagship, but the 700 is a bit more accessible. All right, fantastic. Well, thanks again, Eric. I appreciate it. Thank now, you. for more CES coverage, make sure to stay locked right here on ProGaming.com.